Well, for the past three years, Webster County inmates have been putting in some hard work to supplement their diets. The jail started a garden as a way to help cut costs in the food budget. So far, they have been able to save more than $10,000. Our Keeley Shields was in Webster County and learned more about their stockpile and what they have on this year's menu. Trustees in Webster County are showing off their green thumbs once again, and their fresh produce is helping give inmates quality meals all year long. The Webster County Sheriff's Department is continuing to keep its freezers full and its budget low. Three years ago, Sheriff Gore decided to give inmates the opportunity to get outside and try to cut costs in their food budget. From that time until now, we have been able to reduce the budget almost $15,000. Plus, not only that, but the quality of the food. You know, you have fresh food and food that you put in the deep freezer. And last year's harvest is still filling plates as inmates work on this year's crop. Produce from last year's garden has been frozen in bags and, and we've been using it uh, on and off since then. Chief Deputy J.C. Smith says the garden is continuing to grow and it looks like they'll have even more food than last year. The garden's a little bigger this year. Um, one of the trustees just uh, wanted to talk to the sheriff about trying to make it a little bigger. He said he could manage it, and he has. And we've got so far about 10 to 20 more bags uh, so far this year than we had last year. Working in the garden is volunteer-based, and so far they haven't had a problem with trustees getting their hands dirty. The trustees that come out and work on the, gar the garden uh, enjoy it. It's, uh, I think, therapeutic for them to get out of jail and get out and be productive and uh, add to the the system that takes care of the sheriff's office here. They're part of the solution and not the problem at that point. The sheriff says they'll continue growing their garden and plan to take the idea to the new facility when it's built.